going to move on to the Tennessee Titans, the home team. Uh, saved them for last, so hopefully our friends are still listening. So There yeah. we go. There we go. We'll clip it out. We'll tell them. Be like, listen, we know this is all y'all care about. So here you go. Um, all right. So off season at a glance. Well, I'll throw that up there while you talk about your your thoughts on uh, the Tennessee Titans. Um, offensively, I know the biggest thing that everyone wants to talk about is Julio Jones, and trust me, we will talk about that. Mm-hmm. I think the offense is still going to be the same kind of vibe going, though. I know that's what it's going to be. It's Derrick Henry's show, Ryan Tannehill. This is a very good offensive line. They desperately really need to address that tackle spot and I hope that whoever they got the plug and play there ends up working out because it's been a few seasons back to back where they have been missing on that Mm -hmm. but overall this team is primed and ready to go their defense got better on the front seven their secondary is hurting I still like a Kevin Bayard I've heard Janoris Jenkins has been doing formidable in camp not Mm -hmm. great it's also hard to do great when you're having to face AJ Brown and Julio Jones every damn snap yeah but iron sharpens iron kind of thing yeah and let's see Farley be healthy I hope he can take the slow approach and reach that potential because right now I don't think the first few weeks of the season is going to be that big of a deal for the Titans anyways when it comes to having Caleb Farley starting. You need the good version of him so confidence doesn't get hit. Christian Fulton, though, has a very, very big role to fill this year in a way that he was injured. and So that was kind of the reason I heard behind his, I guess, it wasn't bad play, but why he wasn't you know, growing into that second second round pick status and what could have been first round pick as a corner um, was the injuries. He had a lingering foot injury that just kept just yeah. nagging him over and over. Hopefully that's all put to bed. The Titans' defense, though, is what's going to hold this team back. I will counter that by saying that their offense is good enough to overpower that. Yeah. It reminds me of, and I, I said it before, I said it in, our, uh, in an interview, mm-hmm. and I got, uh, it's a weird thing to say, I think the offense is good enough to do what the Chiefs is able to do with their defense. Chiefs defense now the Chiefs defense has some superstars now the, in a Honey Badger and D four. You know, all you're talking are, about first year I'm, Mahomes. Y- that exa- were bad. Yes, with with having an offense that is so good that they can hopefully just rely on some big plays on defense. You Titans offense, yes, but, I think but, the Titans the, offense is great. I, their Titans offense is great, but that's not what the Titans offense is. The Titans offense is grounded. No, no, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm a, saying a, a solely, run base. solely on the thought that the offense can beat a team, though, before the... Well, if, yeah, no, I definitely think the, the Titans offense... Yeah. I, I just... Because you look at what the what the Chiefs were able to do yeah. is the Chiefs could score it from any moment on the field at any time. That's not really what the Titans are, is it? The Titans are capable. You think they are that? With having a, a Julio who is a top five and AJ Brown who's a top fifteen, those weapons speak for itself. And then you have a top two running back in a Derrick Henry. And I only say two just because McCaffrey's out there. Yeah. No. I, okay. I, I I get what you're saying. I disagree. Having, I think. having those weapons, I just think that the offense. Okay. May, so maybe maybe I don't believe that they can do that as much. They need to do that. They okay. have to do that. Okay. If, yeah. if, well, I if agree a with that. legitimate <laughs> Super Bowl window is possible, because I don't think the Titans are getting Super Bowl this year. Yeah, I, I, I'll be honest, man. I'm going to be a little bit harsher on the Titans than you are. Right? Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I do think their window is closed a little bit. Oh, it, wow. Because their defense specifically, yeah. They're I, still a top-five team in the AFC, and if you say that, then yeah, I think Super Bowl's... I have them taking a step back. I do. I do have them taking a step back. Who did you have winning the division? I'm, I had the Colts. I don't maybe... Yeah, because yeah, could be wrong 11, on that. Titans at 10. Yeah. I mean, that, listen, I, it's splitting hairs at that. I'm just... I'm trying to think... I have the Titans winning nine games. I don't have them at 10. I have them at nine. Damn, you do have a step back. Yeah, I've, 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 they won eleven eight, last year. Nine and eight finish for the Titans, but that's adding a game too. Yeah, that's adding a game. I gave them nine so, and eight. So, I see where you're coming from. It's a brutal schedule because yeah. I know, automatically off the top of my head, I know that they face the uh, NFC West, and yeah. that's not fun. I don't know how that's going to shape up for the Titans, but man, I just don't these these weapons that they they've acquired. Yeah. So so listen, I love I love their offense. I mean, you, but really, I mean, it's it's Julio Jones. They they added Julio. That's, yeah. That's the weapon. It's not weapons. It's one. They, he, they added one. He is a monster. He is a monster. And I what love he him. is able to and do. And I think he I think he completes an offense that was already really good. And exactly. I, I, I absolutely agree. You can't put eight, nine men in the box now. Yeah. No, so I So what I, what is Derrick Henry gonna do? He the, the offense is gonna be great. That's nine wins. I, I absolutely agree. I think this defense is gonna be bad. I really do. I, I I listen, and I love Caleb Farley. I think he's awesome and, and I'm hopeful that he, he is as good as I've you know projected him to be. But, you know, the back injury, we, we don't know how that's gonna go just yet. I, I'm I look at this. Okay, I, I look at you know they were two they were seven and two in one score games last year, that that usually regresses to the mean and you know so they they were plus eleven in the turnover margin that usually regresses to the mean. Yeah, they they you know so the, those stats no right there. Rush. 
Yeah, so they they did have no pass rush. That that's an issue as well. They brought in Bud Dupree to fix that, but he was hurt in what week week eleven, week twelve. So he's not going to be back one hundred percent week one. That was a second half of the year kind of uh, addition, right? So Titan Titans fans don't expect Bud Dupree to be awesome week one. He'll be awesome week six, week seven probably. Yeah, yeah it will uh, take some time. Yeah. But their front seven as a whole, though, they have a good front seven. They've, it's not it, well. It's not that good. They, they, I like they Rashawn, got nineteen Rashawn sacks Evans, Her- last year. Rashawn Evans, Harold Landry. They're I the, think when I think when it comes to the pass rush, they yeah, always they struggle the because they don't. Fewest. They don't have elite edge. That's why they brought in Jadavion. It missed, which is missed, beyond yeah. missed. Yeah, I, I, I criticized John Robinson a lot for kind of betting on the, I guess the the health and injury aspect getting better drastically because there's times where it's worked. There's times where it's blown up in his face. Jeffrey Simmons worked out to perfection. Yeah, you you took a shot on the guy who was the top five pick, and he is playing. Like he is, he's going to be a household name by the end of this season for sure. Yeah. But then you, you know, Farley. Who knows what's going to happen there? You did it with the Jadavion. It did not work. It was probably one of yeah. the worst signings. He's a we've gambler. Seen. Yeah, exactly. He's a gambler. He is a gambler, and you get that high upside, but you yeah. sometimes swing and miss. Listen, and listen, I'm not sitting here saying that he's that the Titans are just going to fall off a fucking cliff. I'm not expecting six wins. I'm saying nine wins. I know. I know. You're, and we're not far only, off. No, you're I'm saying one. ten. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not going that far. Difference, uh, different on you. I'm just trying to say. That this I'm offense trying to say, yeah. can make up for where their defense lies. And, and what I'm trying to say is everyone needs to realize how bad this defense is going to be this year. And that, that's why I, I think they they got rid of a lot of pieces, and we've we've discussed it. It's been well well you know you know brought up. Malcolm Butler, Kenny Vaccaro, Dory Jackson, those are the big names. But like there's a lot, also a lot of other pieces there that that were were lost. And listen, those aren't huge losses. Those were expensive players that were being overpaid. Yeah, they, they, but you can't afford to pay. But they weren't. Replaced, I don't think by by guys that I'm believing in or that I that I really have a lot of faith in. Janoris, you know, you mentioned Jenkins, and that's awesome. But yeah, they, there's a lot of losses on this list. We're going to go back to a graphic that we did uh, right after free agency, and, and you look at the amount of players they lost, and it's it's ridiculous. It really is. Um, I, yeah, listen, I, I I get it. I I love their offense. You're absolutely right. There's there's no how many ways can I say that I love Julio Jones? That I love their their run game. I love their offensive line for the most part. I, and I love Ryan Tano. I think their offense is going to be great. But yeah, there's a lot of pieces missing there and on that defense, and it just it it bugs me. It scares me. It really does. I, I don't know what to I don't know what to expect from this Tennessee team. And I do th- I do expect a small step back. I really do. That's the reason. And I then on top it, of that, on top of that, I look at last year. They did have a lot of one score games that that went their way. They did have a lot of you know lucky bounces I'll, I'll say with with uh, fumbles and turnovers that went their way those are the kind of things that I look at and I always kind of try and project okay this is probably going to tick back to the other direction so if I can look at that and say okay I'm expecting a tick back in maybe the the bad luck stats okay just just a little bit just okay we're going to go back to the mean a little bit and then I can also look at places where I think you lost in free agency that were not replaced, you know, by by guys that I believe in that I know are going to be uh, competent replacements. I mean, yeah, there's a chance they could all prove me, you know, I'm not proving me wrong, but they could they could, you know, perform above and beyond their their title right now and be awesome. Yeah. And the Titans could, you know, not miss a beat. But there's a real good chance that they don't, and that you know that that they take a step back. The Titans are maybe even worse than we're expecting. That that's all I'm saying. And the I, craziest you know, part is that we're only one win apart. But I feel like the the story that our seasons tell going forward is so different. The I'm only missing reason, the playoffs. No, Titans make the playoffs. I think the Titans are well equipped for a deep run. In yeah. saying that too, I think when you well, match yes. them, up, oh, they are, they are, they're, they're, there's no doubt about that. That Derrick Henry, said, yeah, Derrick Henry is Derrick a Henry deep tra- run. He, he travels, <laughs> and I think having Julio and AJ Brown, listen, that's why that's the only reason I equate it to the Chiefs is whenever it gets late November, December, whenever these playoff games are happening, I'm not worried about who the Chiefs' second cornerback is. Mm-hmm. I think it's Ward. They have Legarius Sneed. I mean, there, there's pieces on that team that are ass. There's pieces on a lot of these elite offensive teams that when you look at it, yeah, defensively, you don't have to have 11 guys that are just all-star hit, you know, right home about names. Titans definitely don't have that. I think the Titans needed some pieces. Yes, they missed because I, I wanted them to address solely defensive edge rush. And before you know it, they blew up the secondary. So then they mm-hmm. needed to address those two positions. And, and yeah, exactly. So it's hard, but whenever it gets to those moments in those games, Derrick Henry travels well. The offense travels well. Ryan Tannehill has been playing out of his mind, borderline top 10 quarterback. 
Adding Julio Jones, I think, is a phenomenal weapon in yeah. A.J. Brown. No, that does not equal Lombardi right away because you're right. This defense was bad last year, and if you are if you were literally just checking boxes, did the defense get better? No. Was the defense good last year? No. So it's hard to say that. That's why I'm saying the offense is going to have to make up for the lack of defense. I think that's your best argument is that the defense wasn't good last year and they still won 11 games. I think that I think that truly that, and is And that's where I think argument. the offense is able to do that. Okay. Fair I enough. hope with Julio Jones they're able to do it again because yeah. they're going to have to. Yeah. Listen, I, I I get that. And listen, I was right there with everybody else with the hype when Julio first got signed. No, so like sure. I I well, see the work. Like I said, we're arguing over 10 10 and 7, 9 and 8. I mean, yeah. So we're not we're not that far off. Exactly. You mentioned Ryan Tannehill. I did want to. I put this. This is another graphic that I put together uh, pre COVID that that I put on Twitter a while ago. I'm going to put it out, out here now as well. Uh, since the switch to Tannehill in Week Seven of the 2019 season, uh, they've gone 18 and 8, 8 which is 69, uh, which is the sixth best win rate in the NFL. They've averaged 22.7 first downs, which is the fifth fifth most in the NFL. They've averaged 30.6 yard game. Uh, points per game, excuse me, third best in the NFL. Damn good offense. And they've averaged 165 rushing yards per game, which is the second most in the NFL. Now, Who has them beat? Huh? The hell? I don't, I, That's I don't a lot know of rushing that. yards. Who yeah. the hell has them beat at that? That Actually, is wild. I might have that in my research. Uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to worry about it, uh, but that is wild to think that 165 is second place. Yeah, I don't have it in my research. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's that is crazy. I say all that to say Mike Vrabel was hired in 2018, right? So, so you can't just give it all to Mike Vrabel. Uh, Derrick Henry was drafted in 2016, so they didn't. Derrick Henry didn't just magically start getting oh, that took, much better. Time in, in 2019, week seven of 2019, he was good, but like Derrick Henry is not the only reason these stats exist. Arthur Smith was promoted to OC in 2019, so you know what happened those first six weeks yeah it's ryan tannell ryan tannell has a is a big part of why this offense works yes derrick henry's awesome but ryan tannell is incredibly efficient down the field he is a very very efficient downfield passer and it's somewhat simple offense but he is part of what makes it work uh, I'm not saying he's the only part, but he certainly makes it work. And I, I just think it's it's so interesting that there are still people that just absolutely shit on him because they remember him in Miami with Adam Gase, and that's just not fair. No, Tannehill deserves his flowers. Yeah. Very much so. I, the biggest problem, though, is that, you know, that's that's why I preface the whole Julio thing with mm-hmm. it's still Derrick Henry. Yeah. That, that's the thing that hurts Tannehill, and it's not fair. That's mm-hmm. not fair that just because you're not alone on a great offense that you don't get as much accolades as the other ones. Right? Tannehill is more than just a play-action quarterback, too. They put him in a lot of bad spots, and he has shown up time and time again. Pinpoint accuracy, his leadership, everything is what took the, is what the Titans needed out of a Mariota that he never was, yeah. and now you have it in Tannehill. Yeah. And I'm hoping that it can result in a Lombardi. Not this year, though. I, re- I just I don't think so. I, I just I, I don't see the Titans ever being as good as the the Chiefs are. The are, are they are one. they bottom for you straight up out of let's say Cleveland, Baltimore, you know, Buffalo? I, I said Chiefs. them missing the playoffs. I, I don't see them missing the playoffs with seven seven AFC teams going to the playoffs. I, you're, they're, they're a top seven team. In the no, AFC. but but either either way though, let's. I, I don't want to talk about wild card. I'm talking about like the big dogs. I, I consider Cleveland one of those when it comes to this year. And yeah, they're not year. in the top three. I mean, Cleveland, you, Buffalo, Baltimore, and the Chiefs. Okay, yeah, they're not in the top four. Um, okay. Yeah, give me five. What's the, who would be the fifth one? Maybe Pittsburgh. I, I could go. I I, I, I could. I don't know. Say the Chargers, but I don't. I'm, I can't. I need to there. see it first. But yeah, I, I could easily see the Chargers bumping ahead of the of the Titans. I could. Other than that, that's where it's at. Yeah, and then then the Titans are probably in that fifth spot. I mean Colts. That but that just Maybe. depends on where you know. That's we'll see what, what happens with the Colts. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the fifth spot's up for grabs, and and Titans could certainly take it. But but I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm not going to say you're say that they are in the realm of those those other four teams. I put the, I put them there. Really, I think that yeah, I think that they can line up. I mean, they always play good games against Baltimore and the Chiefs. Uh, and and see, I would put the Chiefs, but the Chiefs are that's them in their own regard too. Yeah. Buffalo, they play Buffalo very well. I think they got didn't they get their their teeth kicked in though? Yeah, they got their key, teeth kicked in it by was, Buffalo. It was bad. Yeah, it was bad. They beat Cleveland. It's kind of weird that we mentioned all those teams. They play those teams very regularly. It feels like yeah. at least well, yeah. mo- more recently. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, they did. I think they did beat. They played Cleveland. They did beat Cleveland. I they think, opened yeah. up with Cleveland week one. That's right. They beat them bad. They did. Titans hung fifty on them. 
That's right. Yeah, it was the blow up where we thought we thought Baker was done. Yeah, it yeah. was. It said less that because that was our narrative that we went into week one. Yeah, was is this about the Titans or is this more about the Browns and who's about the Titans? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> we were wrong. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah. So that's that's a that's a, honestly a really good conversation. It's very interesting. I, I don't. I don't have a, a final answer for you either because, like, I guess I think you go either way with that. I think we disagree as far as where they where they line up in the pantheon. But I mean, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say you're gonna say you're completely wrong or anything because no, I totally I, I get where you're coming I mean, from. I can't say the same. Like I said, yeah. we're we're all you know we're, yeah. we have different versions of how we view the Titans. But at the end of the day, when you do wins and losses, we come out to almost the same. Yeah. All right. Um, anywhere else you want to go with it? I think we we nailed pretty much everything. Nothing really to say about their draft. We mentioned no. Caleb Farley, Dylan Radden is in the second, uh, Elijah Moden, I believe, in the second or third, wherever they got him, um, or I think it must have been the third. So yeah, that, that that's their draft. Anywhere else you want to go? No, it wasn't bad. Um, oh, I feel like we, did we piss off Titans fans? What do you think? I mean, they'll let us know, I'm sure. It's fine. Either <laughs> way, guys, just have realistic expectations. It's yeah. okay. It'll be all right. Julio Jones is going to be awesome. He's, yeah. He's Julio, going to score all the points. Julio, yeah. Every, and he's going to play corner. And he's going to play corner. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> Julio's going to play corner. It's going to be great. He's going to fix everything. He does have Derek Henry's going to play DN. <laughs> Julio Jones has more interceptions than Farley right now, NFL-wise. Boom. Hell yeah. I said it. 